If there's one thing everyone knows about Jeremy Strong, it's that he's a hard-working and dedicated actor. Jeremy has been open about his extreme acting techniques, but some of his Succession co-stars have admitted that they don't always see eye to eye. While the actor was determined to put his career before everything else, it wasn't until he met his wife that everything changed for him. Becoming a husband and father made him realize that there was so much more to life than just acting. Jeremy Strong met Emma Wall in 2012 at a party in New York, not long after Hurricane Sandy. There aren't a lot of details about their first encounter, but we do know they connected immediately. After making a great impression on one another, the pair started dating pretty quickly. At the time, Emma was living and working in Denmark, practicing as a specialist in adolescent medicine and psychiatry. On the other hand, Jeremy was based in New York and working as an actor. There isn't much known about the start of their relationship, but since they were living on opposite sides of the world, we can assume that the new couple had to spend a bit of time flying back and forth to spend time together. In 2016, Emma and Jeremy got married in Denmark. Since she's half Danish, it was important for Wall that they celebrated their wedding in her birth country, and Strong agreed. The couple had an intimate ceremony at Dragsome Castle, surrounded by their closest family and friends. Two years later, Jeremy decided to relocate to Denmark with Emma after he finished filming the first season of the hit series Succession. The couple bought a home in Copenhagen and soon welcomed their first child, a daughter they named Ingrid. Following the birth of his daughter, the actor shared that becoming a father changed his life and made things more stable. He said, there's something to come home to. It wasn't much later that Emma went on to branch out her psychiatry practice to New York. To make things a little easier, the couple decided to purchase another home in the Big Apple. This meant that Jeremy and Emma had homes in both New York and Denmark. In 2019, the couple was overjoyed to welcome their second daughter, Clara. It wasn't long after Clara was born that the international pandemic came around. While they spent most of their time in New York, the couple decided to quarantine in Denmark. You know, I'm in Denmark. I'm in a little fishing village on the coast of Denmark, which is a very lucky place for, for, for me and my family to, to have, you know, sort of been uh, stranded. Strong saw this as a blessing in disguise because it meant he could be at home with his family and get a break from all of his hard work. As you know, when you're an actor and you work, uh, you're, you're away a lot or you're sort of half there and half somewhere else. And so this has been a, a, a real gift in terms of an opportunity to be really fully here with my family. He added that the pandemic was a gift to have a lot of time to spend with them. During an interview on The Late Late Show with James Corden, Strong showed off a necklace he wore that was dedicated to his daughters. The actor looked like the proudest father as he explained the meaning behind the piece of jewelry. It's a sort of guardian angel uh, that's holding objects in his hand that are symbolic to me. Uh, and then on the back is my daughter's footprint. Um, and, and, and then my other daughter, I've got a bell. In 2021, the couple became parents for the third time to another little girl, Agetza. The family of five seemed happier than ever, and Strong did everything he could to protect his wife and kids from the glaring Hollywood spotlight. The actor admitted that it was a challenge for him to balance his work with his home life. As his popularity grew from his role in succession, he knew it was important to set a boundary between his private life and his career. As a result, Jeremy and Emma decided to stay away from social media platforms. While he doesn't speak much about his marriage, the actor is very open about how much becoming a father impacted his life. During an interview with GQ, theater director Sam Gold shared some insight into what Jeremy was like before he became a family man. Sam explained that Strong was so devoted to art making and being an actor that there just wasn't a lot of room for anything else. So when he met Emma and had kids, I think it really, really changed him for the better. It's nice to see other things in his life taking priority because he's a great dad and partner. And Jeremy agreed, saying, Work was a center, but it, it's not quite a real center. I don't think I knew that until I had children. In a nutshell, Jeremy is nothing like his succession character, Kendall Roy. While Strong has been praised as a husband and father, he's unfortunately faced some criticism when it comes to his acting techniques. At the end of 2021, the actor found himself at the center of fierce online debate after a viral New Yorker profile revealed his unconventional approach to acting. The article essentially painted Jeremy to be an intense method actor who, as a result, can be difficult to work with. 
Strong had explained to the writer that he takes playing the role of Kendall just as seriously as his own existence, saying, To me, the stakes are life and death. He also confessed that he refuses to rehearse with his co-stars on the show because he wants every scene to feel like he's encountering a bear in the woods. The actor believes that he has to go through whatever the ordeal is that the character has to go through. His method of acting technique involves making himself a complete vessel for the work at hand and clearing away anything that is not the character and the circumstances of the scene. I think it's a game, you know, I mean, it, 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 it is a game. And, and you try and deepen the game, and I think really believe in it. Method acting has often been criticized for its extreme process, which involves the actor becoming and staying in a character even when they're not filming. Strong was particularly inspired by actors Daniel Day-Lewis, Al Pacino, and Dustin Hoffman, who were known for their intense role preparation. While he was growing up, he had posters of their films on his bedroom wall, avidly following their careers, and read all of their interviews. The New Yorker article about Jeremy was described as a sneering character assassination. What's more, it also included quotes that were provided by his fellow Succession co-stars, whom Jeremy himself hinted he may not have been overly popular with. Kieran Culkin, who plays Jeremy's on-screen brother, said that it was hard for him to describe Strong's process because he doesn't really see it. He explained, He puts himself in a bubble. It might be something that helps him. I can tell you that it doesn't help me. Brian Cox also contributed to the article and agreed with Kieran. Brian didn't hold back on his criticism of method acting, describing it as an inability to separate yourself off while you're doing the job. He also voiced his concern for Strong, saying, I just worry about what he does to himself. I worry about the crises he puts himself through in order to prepare. Cox added that he feels that Jeremy just has to be kinder to himself and therefore has to be a bit kinder to everybody else. Jeremy is a very, very dedicated actor. He's incredibly dedicated. Jeremy sat down for a wide-ranging interview with GQ and addressed the controversy around the New Yorker profile. He described the article as 15 minutes of shame with a long tail. He said, I hadn't felt judged like that in a very long time. The actor shared that he was less bothered by his co-stars or other actors' feelings and opinions about the way that he works. He explained that the most painful thing about the article was how he was left feeling exposed. Jeremy also addressed Brian's comment saying, Everyone's entitled to have their feelings. I also think Brian Cox, for example, he's earned the right to say whatever the f he wants. When he was asked if there were tensions on set while shooting the next season of Succession, Strong emphasized that there was no need to address that or do damage control. He added that he feels a lot of love for his co-stars and that they are like a family to him. Strong explained, I'm sure they would say this too. You don't always like the people that you love. I do always respect them. Following Jeremy's interview with GQ, things got a little more complicated. Cox spoke out yet again in a separate interview about his co-star's method acting. When asked how he felt being around someone who was always in character, Brian responded, Oh, it's f***ing annoying. Don't get me going on it. He added, Strong is talented. He's f***ing gifted. When you've got the gift, celebrate the gift. Go back to your trailer and have a hit of marijuana, you know? He went on, urging Jeremy to relax a little more. While controversy and criticism impacted Jeremy in some way, he expressed that neither the article nor the response to it has changed how he thinks about his performances. Well, I feel like I've been sort of coursed through these classified Whitewater Rapids for a few seasons, and, and I love it. The actor said that he wasn't going to adjust or compromise the way that he's worked his whole life. He assured that there wasn't a flicker of a doubt about that. Strong shared confidently, I'm still going to do whatever it takes to serve whatever it is. As for his wife, Emma, she expressed that she had no problem with the way that Jeremy chooses to approach his work, and it doesn't interfere with their life at home. She shared, he does a really good job of maintaining what he's doing, but also creating a space for the family and a normal life. While there are some that may not agree with Jeremy's approach to acting, there's no doubt that he is incredibly talented. Everyone has their way of doing things and Strong found what works best for him. It also makes us happy to know that after a hard day's work, he has an amazing family to come home to that makes him feel safe and loved. We're certainly big fans of his work and we can't wait to see more of him on our screens.